Good morning, everybody. Cards in my car with our Posada is first in the live stream. Hope you are having a good day. Yes, it is a start of a good day. Outside the fact that it is raining cats and dogs outside. But other than that, yes, it is a good day. We're going to go through some uh, 1987 packs for... Cello packs and a rack pack in the back here. I'll tell you the story on this one in just a little bit here. All right. But we're going to go through these for our throwback Thursday video for today. And then other than that, um, cards in my car with our Posada said I just had my coffee. Boom. Wow. I'm feeling good today. Boom, boom. Miss Southern Belle is in the house. Miss Southern Belle is in the house. How you doing there, Miss Southern Belle? <laughs> She's got a cute little emoji there. All right, let me get Miss Southern Belle in here for... A five bell ringer on that one. A five bell ringer for Miss Southern Belle. Into the chat here, right at 10 o'clock. Let me get Miss Southern Belle in here for our month of April giveaway. Thank you there, Miss Southern Belle. Do appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, not that. I just need her name to put it in the Wheel of Names. All right. Let me get her in here really quick. And we will continue on after we get through the first few minutes of the stream here. Right at 10.10, hopefully, we'll get ready to get started on our content at hand for today. But let me get Miss Southern Bell's five entries into the Wheel of Names. Three. And then four. And five. All right, Miss Southern Bell, you have your... Five entries into my wheel of names. All right. Let me save my wheel so I don't lose any of the content in case something happens with the computer. And we are good to go. And let me get my listing going here for the first in the live chat. All right. So we got there the first. First in the live, so let me see. We had Cards in My Car with our Posada. Of course, Miss Southern Belle already got her five bonus entries for that $4.99 Super Chat. Appreciate that, Miss Southern Belle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five for Cards in My Car. The first one or two minutes in the chat since I started at 9.59. The first one to chat at 101 ends the, the first in the live chat. Entries. All right, so cards in my car. I got yours. Let me see who else we got. One. Looks like one more cards in your car. We got a bonus entry for Miss Southern Bell. And right, sliding right in under the gun is a. Uh, Jay Thompson. Jay Thompson, what up, y'all? <laughs> Jay Thompson with one free entry today. All right, so let me get these other free entries into our Wheel of Names. And then I will update you and tell you how many entries we've got. So let me get Miss Southern Bell's bonus entry for chatting in the stream in the first one to two minutes since I got bonus anybody at 9.59 and then 10 o'clock on the news and then the first one in 10.01 gets a entry into that so I've got Miss Southern Bell let me get cards in my car with our Posada I know, I know you're in here, Dark. 
Let's see. Cards in my car with our Posada. Thought you had some entries already here. Let me check through. Maybe not. Maybe this is cards in your car. I think this is cards in my car with our Posada. Let me get all your entries in. You were Johnny on the spot this morning, that's for sure. So let me get cards in your car with our Posada. Okay, there's one. Uh, two. Three. Get. Okay. There we got six. One more to make his seven entries. You are busy. Typing in the in the chat for sure there, Robert. All right, and then I got to get Jay Thompson in here for his entry, and then we'll go over what our content is for today. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let me get Jay in here. Oops, wait a minute. That was the wrong one. Okay, get that one out of the way. Uh, if, let's see, boom, copy that one. Get Jay Thompson's in here. It looks like, I, let's see. Miss Southern Belle did it again. <laughs> I'll just do that bonus entry in there for uh, <laughs> for the fun of having back to back four ninety nine super chats. And but Miss Southern Belle says these these entries are for the Bipster of all things wax packed. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that, Miss Southern Bell. We will do that for you. For the Bipster. Gotcha. Let me get five entries in here for Bipster. He does have a bunch of entries in this already, but let's get the Bipster in here for five. There's a five spot there for Bipster. I can copy and paste into the wheel. All right. So let me go ahead and save the wheel. We've got three more minutes. Hopefully we can take a breather here now. <laughs> With the super, the early super chats. But thank you there, Miss Southern Bell, for that $5 super chat. And she said give the entries to the Bibster. All right. And then it looks like Cardinals Fan 1990 has... A $2 super chat for Cardinals fan 1990. Let me get two entries for Cardinals fan 1990 into the chat here. Into the April giveaway. Today is what? The 8th of April. So eight days into the month. And I'll give you an update in just a second here. Boom. We have 217 entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of April. Awesome. So let me get back to the chat here. Let me do a refresh so we know where we left off. Now I've got that two-minute warning to go over our content we're going to cover today. And then we will get into opening up some cello packs. Opening up some cello packs. So thanks everybody for being in here. Cards in my car with our Posada, Miss Southern Bell, Jay Thompson, Cardinals fan 1990. We got six people watching. Six people watching. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. I keep forgetting. I was trying to look at my camera in front of me, but I forgot it's the, the phone down here with our eight millimeter look for this special throwback Thursday stream. I just do my old style with the phone and put on my filter 
on my phone for the eight millimeter look and then we will go to town so here's the order of preference as to what we're going to do i may or may not throw in a bonus product here we'll see how the stream goes all right but we're going to go through these wax packs here let me just lay these down you can see the the rack pack right behind it so we'll be opening all four of these packs plus the rack pack for our 1987 throwback i'm trying to think bipster i don't see bipster hanging out he might be hanging out in the background i don't know for sure but um then after that we're going to go through i got a family mail call package from hunter from hunter which is when when he's on here usually with the the stream and stuff it's either hunter or gina batman all right but he, I got this in the mail yesterday, so I figured I'd share that today. Okay, and then we will get into, um, you can see it on my table back here. We will get into the 1988 Fleer, get into another pack from Left Behind Times. And then we will get into the Bipster box and pull out at least three, maybe four more Bipster babies out of the Bipster box. Okay. So it is 10:11. I didn't think I was going to be able to make the 10 10 start time with all with the 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 two five dollar super chats and the two two dollar and the one two dollar super chat. So I do appreciate that for sure. Okay, but other than that, um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get things ready here to uh, go into these packs. So I'm going to open up the odd one on the top there and let me fold this one up. We'll do the rack pack last. I do like that because the rack pack, as you can see, has my favorite, my second favorite PZ player. We've got a Cal Ripken Jr. American League All-Star card there. So that's nothing wrong with adding one of those to my, to my stack at all. So I'm going to set these guys over here. Let me set, let me put Cal Ripken over here. That way we can get the packs here. And we'll go ahead and open up these packs here. Looks like the packaging was upside down. I don't know what happened. I hope these aren't repacked. I've had these for quite some time. Uh, Ripken, and Rick, uh, Ripken and Ricky on the front. Yes, 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 that's right. Cal Ripken Jr. and a Ricky Henderson. For sure. The Turn Back the Clock, Ricky Henderson from 1982, which is cool. So that'll be fun opening up this pack, see what we can find in there. Actually, let me just stack these up. Give myself a little bit more room here to put the cards up when we do pull them out. All right. So we will see what we get in these cello packs. All right. Um, I think that, oh, there's our... There's our famous gum. Our famous gum. Good thing at least this time they had a little insert card here. So I think that might have helped it from not getting stuck to the back of a card. So I guess you could say that's a good thing that Topps did back in the day. And you know what? How old is this pack of cards? If it's a 19... If it's a 1988 base... Or 87 baseball pack of cards... Uh, when do you think the what do you, what do you think these cards are? How old are these? That tells you how old the gum is. I'm gonna go ahead and mmm. It's so crunchy and old. It just melts in your mouth. <laughs> And don't don't worry, Jay. I've done this in the past. I probably won't eat the other three the other three that are in here. But for the ratings and the stream. Oh my word, it's got a terrible aftertaste. So what's that like? 87, 97, 2007, 2017. It's only 34 years old. I think it's past the expiration date. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. somebody gave me a thumbs down is that because i just ate the chewing gum <laughs> that's my first thumbs down i got in a long time 
Somebody must be hanging out that doesn't like this. <laughs> Sorry, did you give me the thumbs down there, Miss Southern Belle? <laughs> Just teasing. Um, but there's a spring fever entry. But of course, it's too late to do the entry for that because it expired. You had to have it mailed in by, uh, let's see, I think it said on the front of the pack. Or somewhere on there. But, and you could have sent in for some special baseball cards. Mm. I got to get a drink of water soon to get that taste out of my mouth, that's for sure. Yeah, you had to have it sent in by December 15th, 1987. So I think we missed the window on that one. But real quick, let me, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that, Jay. Should be both powdery and wet at the same time. <laughs> powdery and wet at the same time. All right. So we've got a Rick Leach here. Rick Leach with the Toronto Blue Jays. We've got a Dave Parker. A Dave Parker. Star player card for the National League. A Manny Lee. Bobby Witt, Tony La Russa. Tony La is a Hall of Famer, isn't he? I forgot I got to get my little cheat sheet out here. Tony La Russa is in the Hall of Fame, that's for sure. Then we've got Kirk Gibson. But not Bob Gibson, Kirk Gibson. We got our checklist. Let me throw that checklist off to the side here. So we got a Tony La Russa as our only Hall of Famer so far. Of course, we know farther down the road we'll get another one. Jeff. Jeff Heron. Jeff Heron. George Frazier with the Minnesota Twins. Keith Atherton with the, t the Twins. Uh, Greg Gross with the Phillies. Um, Rich Gedman with the Red Sox. Luis Agallo with the Phillies. There we go. Ken Phelps with my Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Ken Phelps with the Seattle Mariners. Let me put him off here to the left here for my Seattle Mariner cards. Okay. Uh, Bob McClure. Bob McClure. Let me see here. Am I cutting off the top of the top card? Let me... Scooch that back just a little bit, and then I think we'll probably get it a little bit better here. So, Bob McClure, uh, Expos Leaders. Who do we got in there? Uh, Fitzpatrick, an umpire, and probably whoever was the coach in the day. All right, next we got Bruce Hurst with the Red Sox. Oh, there we go. We got a turn back the clock. Murray Wills. Murray Wills. Okay, then we got a Cliff Johnson with the Blue Jays, Jack Morris, Hall of Fame player, Jack Morris, less known Hall of Famer maybe, but a newer one from a couple years back, Lance Parrish, All-Star, um, Gary Renicki with the Yankees, oh there we go, we got Carl Yastrzemski, Turn Back the Clock, for a 1967 Topps card. Yes. Hall of Famer. Then we got uh, another checklist card for 87 Topps. So two checklist cards in that pack. Then we got a Mark Bailey with the Houston Astros. A Chet Lemon with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Mike Flanagan with the Baltimore Orioles. Ruben Sierra, 86 record breaker for the Texas Rangers. We got Willie Randolph with the Yankees. And our last, next to last card is a Tom Kelly card for the Minnesota Twins. And our last card is a Nolan Ryan Hall of Famer card. Nolan Riot, so got a few Hall of Famer cards there. Let me pop up in the chat. Uh, no, the Cobra, Bobby Witt Sr., Jimmy Key. I mean Jimmy Key. My birthday, 
April 12, 2021. Four more days to go. There you go there, Cardinals fan. Happy early birthday again. <laughs> All right. So happy anniversary. Happy, happy birthday there, Cardinals fan 1990. Let's get into pack number two. Again, I'm not going to eat the gum on this pack. Just so you do know. I don't want to get a second thumbs down for eating the gum again. <laughs> so let me put this here. We got the future star there, but let me let me take... Oh, this one at least is in one piece, and it is stuck to the card. But it's going to go right in my trash can there. Because I'm not going to eat that gum, that's for sure. So let's see who we got here. Future stars. Uh, Pat Dotson with the Red Sox. Gonna put the future star down there. Actually, no, I'll just put them in here. I'll look for the rookie cards after we're done. It's harder to spot the rookies on these cards because they don't really tell you if it's a rookie. Rick Anderson with the Mets. Doyle Alexander with the Braves. Then we got the White Sox leaders here on this card. Don't know for sure who is on that card for sure. Is that Harold Beans with the White Sox? Don't know for sure. It might be Harold Beans. But. Oh, Junk Wax Life Hacks. One of my favorite top sets. I kind of like this top set because it has like the, the wood grain borders. I think was pretty cool back in the day to make it look like it's a wood green. But uh, Atlee Hammaker. Thanks for stopping by there, Junk Wax Life Hacks. My fellow Arlen Arlentonian. <laughs> Atlee Hammaker with the Giants. Uh, Mike Loind with the Texas Rangers. Um, Brad Havens with the, with the Orioles. Moose Haas with the A's. Phillies leaders. Phillies leaders. I'm trying to think who's on that one. Might be Von Hayes. I don't know. Is that? I know Mike Schmidt was pretty tall, but I can't remember what number Mike Schmidt was for sure. But cool card there with three Philadelphia Phillies players back in the day. Uh, Scott Nielsen with the Yankees. Scott Bales with the Indians. Um, Ozzie Guillen. Okay. Could be. Uh, hey, guys. Sorry. I've not been here in a while. School has been so busy. Oh, that's no problem there, Davy K cards and collectibles thanks for popping back in the stream do me a favor if you do get a chance thummies up thummies up thummies up for me we got five people watching seven thumbs up appreciate that very much dwight evans 86 record breaker boston red sox earliest home run season all right mike marshall with the dodgers cecil cooper with the brewers Then we've got Kelly Downs with the Giants. Jamie Quirk with the Royals. Pat Clements with the Pirates. Greg Walker. Greg Walker. With the White Sox. Uh, Ron Rumenick. Ron Rumenick. Oh, the sun's trying to come out. That's probably why it's starting to get very bright on the, on the screen here. Ron Rumenick. With the Angels, uh, Billy Wegman with the Brewers, Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. There's an, another Hall of Famer out of the pack. Don Carmen with the Phillies, John Denny with the Reds, Tim Wallach with the Expos, Jeff Sellers with the Red Sox, uh, Dennis Boyd. Dennis Boyd with the Red Sox. Daryl Evans with the Tigers. Tom O'Malley. He's not the, the four O's that are in the uh, O'Day O'Malley, Walter O'Malley, O'Rourke, and Mel Ott are the only four O's in the Hall of Fame. Joe Negro, Phil Negro's brother. Uh, Willie Upshaw with the Toronto Blue Jays and Rick Aguilera with the New York Mets. So nothing too late, great, and breaking there. One Seattle Mariner so far. 
couple of checklist cards. Some common player cards here. We've got our Hall of Famers there. A Rat Pack. And again, just one Seattle Mariner so far. Moving on to Cello Pack number three. And of course, again, in the center, we do have another gum card here. I'm glad it's they put the spacer in here for the gum. All you have to do on these is then worry. And it don't look like we have a gum stain on the back of that card. So that is pretty good. Throw that gum in the waste bin. Oh, that's no problem. Uh, Miss Southern Belle, that's what a lot of people do on my channel. Especially if people are, are at work and stuff. They will watch my channel or and, and just listen. Kind of like a radio show where I talk about the baseball players. Uh, Brian Fisher with the Yankees. Dave Rigetti, 86 record breakers for the New York Yankees. Most save season. Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith. Hall of Famer. All right, Todd Worrell, 86 record breaker card. St. Louis Cardinals most saved season rookie. Is that his rookie card, I wonder? It could be. Mike Burbeck with the Brewers. Mike Woodard with the Giants. Ron Smalley with the Twins. Uh, Willie Hernandez with the Tigers. Oh, there we go. We got uh, the A's leaders card. Here with Lansford and uh, I think that's Tettles or Tettle Tettleton. <laughs> Trying to remember who that was exactly. All right, uh, Keith Hernandez, All Star for the National League. Scott Anderson, Don Sutton, Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. All right. So, Ron Say with the Cubs, Cardinals leaders. Shout out that Cardinals fan, 1990. That's what I do, Miss Southern Bell. Have it on well at work. And there you go. Sutton is a Hall of Famer. Yes, he is. All right, Tom Browning with the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Bob Sebra with the Expos. Kevin Bass with the Astros. Uh, Enos Cabell. With the Dodgers. Um, Rafael Ramirez. With the, the Braves. Andre Dawson. Hall of Famer. Andre Dawson. Uh, Rick Dempsey. With the Orioles. Dale Murphy. With the Braves. Kurt Wilkerson. With the Rangers. Uh, Ken Dixon. With the Orioles. Mark Kubica with the Royals. Roger McDowell with the Mets. Uh, Chris Cod Codiroli with the uh, Oakland Athletics. Sorry. Uh, John Tudor with the Cardinals. Uh, Dan Bellardello with the... Uh, Expos, Dave Palmer with the Braves, and Jose Riho with the Athletics. Okay. So, one more cello pack, and then we'll get to the rack pack. Nobody's seen Bipster yet. He must be busy doing something. Maybe he's recording another video or something for a throwback Thursday. Usually Bipster's in here. My East Coast Ops. Okay, there's our piece of bubble gum in here. This one is cracked. You can kind of see it in the photo there. It is cracked, but it's going right into the waste basket here, into the recycle bin. It'll turn into powder anyway. <laughs> All right, next up the bat, we've got here Al Polito with the Yankees, Donnie Hill with the Athletics, Glenn Hubbard with the Braves, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. So we're getting a few Hall of Famers out of this, these packs here. Jeff Reed with the, with the Twins. 
Bob Bohita with the Mets. Lou Whitaker. With the Tigers. Dave Parker. Dave Parker. Star player for sure. Boom. Mike Langston with the Seattle Mariners. Only my second Seattle Mariner. He's shopping at Home Depot, he said. Oh, okay, thanks. I must have missed it in the chat here. Did he did he pop in real quick here? I know he had to go get some stuff. He probably did. I probably missed it. Sweet Lou, Hall of Famer. Sweet Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Sweet Lou, Hall of, Hall of Famer. Oh, Lou Whitaker? Oh, he must be a team Hall of Famer. I'm looking for the national. Lou Whitaker. Lou Whitaker is not a Hall of Famer. Um, let's see. He played for, who did Lou play for again? The Detroit Tigers. He's probably in the Detroit Tigers Hall of Fame, but not the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Okay. Uh, Andy Allenson, Gold Cup card for the Indians. Greg Minton. I think he is. Could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he might be in the Detroit Tigers uh, Hall of Fame. Each baseball club has their own Hall of Fame players for their team. But then uh, the make it. I, I have a master list here of all the Hall of Famers, and except for I didn't get one for last year when uh, Jeter, Miller, Simmons, and Walker made it in. But Whitaker is not in here. The closest to Whitaker would be James Deacon White and uh, Solomon White. Okay, but Greg Minton with the Giants. Joaquin Andohar with the Athletics. Mike Alderado with the, the Giants. Uh, Lamar Hoyt with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Models and more. Brett Butler. Brett Butler. With the Indians. Rich Yet. With the Indians, uh, Dick Schofield with the Angels, Cecil Fielder, Cecil Fielder with the Blue Jays, Eric King with the Tigers, uh, Greg Matthews with the Cardinals, Butch Weiniger with the Yankees, Joe Carter, the only Carter I think that make it in made it in was Gary Carter, the catcher. All right. John Miserock with the Astros, Tito Landrum with the Cardinals, Glenn Wilson with the Phillies, uh, Tom Henke with the Blue Jays, okay, um, Ken Schramm um, with the Indians, Charles Hudson with the Phillies, Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson is in the Hall of Fame, uh, Ricky Horton with the Cardinals, and Tim Conroy with the St. Louis Cardinals. So there we go. Mostly commons there. Let me move uh, my Seattle Mariners just down here. here. Let me uh, scroll these just down a little bit here. Put our checklist over on this side for now. So we can kind of see them right there. And move this over so you can see the Bipster Box title there. And I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors and just cut open the, the, the rack pack here and pull the the six or the three little packs of cards out of here as we go through. Instead of ripping them open, I'll just slide them out of the packs here and go through them one by one. And let's get this last section here. Okay. Put the Ricky Henderson on top and do that first and save Cal Ripken for near the end. 
Okay. So I'll just kind of hold these up here like this. And so turn back the clock. Ricky Henderson, 1982 Tops card look at. There. For a Hall of Famer, Ricky Henderson. Next up, we got the Brewers Leaders card here. We got a Dave Winfield. A Dave Winfield. Hall of Famer. We got a Bud Black with the Royals. Dave Winfield was with the Yankees, of course. Um, then we've got the... Um, let me scooch these over a little bit. Take the star off there. And there we go. Get these guys in there. All right. Dave Leeper with the Athletics. We got future stars. Raphael Palmero. Max Venable with the Cincinnati Reds. Phil Negro. Phil Negro. Is the Hall of Famer. Dan Eorg with the Padres. Ryan Sandberg. Hall of Famer. We'll get, get a few more Hall of Famers in here. Kent Tecolve with the Phillies. Mike Trujillo with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Jay Thompson. He has 500 home runs and not in the Hall of Fame. Well, he could get in eventually through the Veterans Committee down the road because all they have to do is vote on him to do that and enough people get involved with that to Colvey pitched forever <laughs> Kent to Colvey yeah let me see he started it looks like maybe back in 1974 when I was a kid I graduated from high school in 1977 all right uh, Texas Rangers Leaders, uh, Eric Cho for the San Diego Padres, uh, Garth Eorg with the Blue Jays, Juan Nives with the Brewers, uh, Steve Lake with the Cardinals, Rupert Jones, Rupert Jones, all right, with the Angels, Greg Gross with the Philadelphia Phillies, Joe Orsalek with the Pirates. Fernando Valenzuela, National League All-Star. Manny Trujillo with the Chicago Cubs. Bill Wegman with the Brewers. Rick Sutcliffe with the Cubs. Ruben Sierra with the Rangers. And then, we've, of course, we have the Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr., American League All-Star card, Hall of Famer. Okay, then we've got Steve Trout with the Cubs, uh, Jeff Sellers with the Red Sox, Ron Davis with the Cubs, uh, Lee Gutterman with the Seattle Mariners, uh, Eric Cho, tragic uh, story, broke left arm pitching, then did it again later and lost his arm. Then suicide. Oh, my word. Is that what happened to Eric Shaw? That's ter That's not a nice story to be happy for. I guess he just threw his arm out. Tried to let it heal up. Wasn't healed up all the way and had to take his arm off. My word. Tracy Jones with the Cincinnati Reds. Gene Nelson with the White Sox. Ed Nunez with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Then we got Danny Darwin with the Houston Astros. Oh, there we go. That I thought there was a... So we got two of the All-Stars in here. A 1986 insert card. Card 16 of 22. I'm pretty sure I've got both of these, but always good to add extras into my Hall of Fame collections. For projects coming up down the road. Ron Shepard with the Toronto Blue Jays. Willie McGee with the Cardinals. Nick Asaski with the Reds. Uh, George Bamberger, manager for the Brewers. Jerry Royster with the Padres. Scott Fletcher with the Rangers. Uh, such great detail with the airbrushing. <laughs> with the airbrushing. <laughs> uh, Bob Stanley with the Red Sox 
Kurt McCaskill with the Angels. Sammy Kahalif. Khalifa with the Pirates. Uh, Phil Garner with the Astros. Tim Tufel with the Mets. Mm -hmm. Cecilio Guante with the Pirates. Rick Mahler with the Braves. Jim Wynn. Was he a pitcher? Yeah, I'm sure he was. Can you imagine? And Jim Wynn with the win. Bob Horner with the Braves. Reed Nichols with the White Sox. And Bryn Smith with the Montreal Expos. So not bad overall there. Let's see how many Hall of Famers we found in here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen Hall of Famers out of those packs. Not too bad, really. Uh, a couple of Mariners, five Seattle Mariner cards. So that's normally more than what I normally get when I open up a pack, a couple packs of cards. So par on par for everything else Seattle Mariners we are three and three we actually did beat the White Sox last night that was pretty cool and then these two checklist cards will go into my checklist card stack and these will go in my common players I'll go through them and pull out my rookies and such so next on the docket is the family mail call package from Hunter Commonly known on the channels as Gina Batman. Gina Batman. I was checking my mail at my business and thought I was getting a package from somebody else. And I was surprised to see that it was a package from Hunter. So that is pretty, pretty cool. So let's see what Hunter has sent me here. Go ahead. Cut open the bag here and see what we've got from Hunter. Cubbies up one to nothing. Oh yeah, I think my Mariners play at one o'clock today. They have an afternoon game. Um, usually they do matinees a lot of times on Thursdays as an afternoon game. So one of these days, if I get tickets to a Thursday matinee game, um, I'll probably try and go to a game. So maybe I'll do some YouTube live from Safe uh, T-Mobile Park. I almost said Safeco because that's what it used to be called. So let's see what we've got in here from Hunter. Looks like something in here. And oh, it looks like a thank you note. But thanks there, Hunter. Put that up here. You can see that is from Hunter. And I do appreciate that, Hunter. Appreciate you. You didn't have to send me anything. But it is always nice to get some family mail call fun. It says thank you. Almost looks like, oh, okay, it looks like maybe her, his mom made this card. That's pretty cool. I like that design. This will go in my my fan mail cards and notes section. I'm probably going to make a binder on uh, for all the notes and stuff I get for family mail call. Family mail call. Uh, it's Mr. F-A-B. Thank you. Thumbs up. Thummies up. Try and squeeze it in here. Thummies up. Thummies up. Thummies up for me. But let's see what it says. Thank you, Donald, for everything. Get this into the camera here. Uh, here is something I thought you might like. Thanks for thanks for you for your uh, thanks for you for your friendship, Hunter. That is nice, nice little card there, Hunter. Appreciate that one very much. Let's see what Hunter sent in here. Looks that's. One way for a young young person to be creative, that's for sure. Looks like we've got some. And this is this is awesome. He was being very creative in packaging this card up to be uh what would you say? Creative for sure. Oh my word. Hunter. What on earth did you do here? This is a young man. That was pretty. That's a pretty neat little idea. Just take two pieces of cardboard and tape them up to help protect the card. Set that over on the side for now. 
But Hunter, oh my word. Did you have this in your PC and you decided to send this to me? Sweet Spot Signatures. It says authentic autograph. One, it's a short print. 104 out of 125. Felix Hernandez with the Seattle Mariners. That will definitely go into my autograph relic box for sure for the Seattle Mariners. That is awesome. What year is this? 2006 Upper Deck. 2006 Upper Deck. It says, congratulations, you have received a trading card personally autographed by Felix Hernandez. This trading card was sent to Upper Deck directly from Felix Hernandez. The certificate expressly warrant this certificate expressly warrants the authenticity of the depicted athlete's signature. Enjoy your autograph card. That is awesome. Authentic sweet spot signatures. That is a beautiful card there, Hunter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to set this here for... For a little while while we get ready to get oh go to open up part number three of our stream today and that's going to be left behinds box here we're going to do the left behind box here next um let's see i think yeah this way so let me put this off to the side here i think we've got two packs left one for today and one for tomorrow okay we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and open up the box here up oh. They did get kind of tipped over, and let me fix this really quick. <laughs> Uh-oh, this one, yeah, this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that one for last there, for tomorrow, the 12th man. There's a reason I'm going to do it tomorrow instead of today. But we'll go ahead and open up this one. We have one more pack left in Left Behind's box. And we will get that tomorrow, and then I'll highlight through and show you the rest of the box with a better angle on the stream for tomorrow with the dual cameras. So let me put the left behind box off to the side here, and let's go ahead and open up this uh, 1988 score pack. It's a repack product, just so you do know. It is a repack product, just so you know. We have 11 people watching now. And we have nine thumbs up. Nine thumbs up. Can we get one more thumbs up before we get into the Bipster box, hopefully? I guess if we didn't have the one thumbs down, we'd have ten thumbs up. There we go. We got ten thumbs up. Ten thumbs up. So we are looking good today. Ten thumbs up, one thumbs down. That's okay. I get, that still gives me like over 90% thumbs up. And probably somebody just upset at me or something. I don't know. But let's see what Left Behind sent us in it. Oh, I see. I see the kid in here. Right on the back of the pack. I see the kid. Try not to bend any cards here but let's see what we've got in this repack product doesn't look like there's a big relic or anything in here but it could be filled with seattle mariners that's for sure um this looks like a uh 1981 tops 1981 tops here okay we've got the 1981 tops seattle mariners jim Beatty. uh and then here we have Mike Parrott with the Seattle Mariners. Then we've got, oh, my favorite complete, oldest complete set I have is the 1984 Tops Manager Del Crandall. Manager Del Crandall. A Fairfield double for a Thursday. Fairfield double. Who do we got up here next? We got batting and pitching leaders for the Seattle Mariners. Pat Putnam and Matt Young. A Fairfield double on that one. Then we've got a Tony Bernarzard with the Seattle Mariners. 
Fairfield double. It's all right. Let me get it over in here so it's not cutting the cards off. A Richie Zisk with the Seattle Mariners. A Rick Sweet with the Seattle Mariners. A Jim Beatty with the Seattle Mariners. Then who do we got here? Um, bum, bum, bum. Got a backwards card. Could this be a hit? Royal Rookies official OPL player license. Los Angeles Dodgers. Tony Mata. Boom! It is a hand autographed. Looks like fourteen ninety nine out of four thousand and fifty. Four thousand nine hundred and fifty. Sorry about that. <laughs> 4,950. Still nice, sweet autograph card there for Royal Rookies. That is cool. Thank you, dear Left Behind, for that autograph in that pack. Pretty, pretty cool there. Then we got Bob Stoddard with the Seattle Mariners. Jim Palmer with the Seattle Mariners. Steve Henderson with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Pat Putnam with the Seattle Mariners. A lot of 84s in here. Fairfield double for the Pat Putnam. Jamie Nelson with the Seattle Mariners. Bill Claudel, Caudell with the Seattle Mariners. Oh, my word. Did we get another hit in this pack? This is a hot pack. This might be a hot pack. This one's uh, Brett Jody. Another autograph, 2,266 out of 6,995. Let's get this one in a penny sleeve, too. Pulling some fire. There we go. Two future stars. <laughs> autographs. Authentic autographs. <laughs> That's pretty neat there. Blake. Left behind times. Jamie Allen with the Seattle Mariners. Ricky Nelson with the Seattle Mariners. Barry Bonnell with the Seattle Mariners. And a 1985 original Seattle Mariners. That is cool. That looks like his second year card in the manager in, in the majors. Awesome. 85 card there. All Seattle Mariner cards. And Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners. So Ken Griffey Jr. to end up the packs there. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we got 11 thumbs up. Keep them thumbs up coming in to out counteract that. If we can get up to 20 thumbs up, that would be awesome. That would give me a 95, good 95 percentile of thumbs ups on the video and a lot of times when youtube sees just one person doing a thumb down thumbs down there they know basically what they're doing anyway so it's not really going to affect my analytics that much getting single thumbs down it's when you get like all thumbs down and thumbs up you wonder what did this what this guy do in the video did he do something that bad but let me get ken griffey jr into a penny sleeve here along with my other let me put these Seattle Mariners over in my Seattle Mariner stack here hmm this one's weird so this glossy 1984 First, I thought it was a reprint, like, on the new cards, but it's not. This must be a, uh, these are all 84s. Then the 85. Let me put these guys on top. But this must be a, I don't know if this, did they, oh, this is the traded, the, the traded set. That's why. That's why. This is the 84 traded. I did not know they did an 84 traded set. Now I have to try and get an 80, 1984 traded set. Barry Bonnell traded from the Blue Jays to the Seattle Mariners. That is, I learned something new today. I just picked that out. 
Awesome. I'll have to check on getting a 1984 Topps Traded Set. Okay. So, thank you for these two autographs there. Uh, Blake, left behind. And thank you, Hunter, for this Felix Hernandez sweet spot. This, let me get this into a different... Uh, while I'm doing it on camera here, a different... I'm going to put a, a penny sleeve on it. Let me find a... Uh, I think this one might fit in here. Let's see. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Oops. No, not that one. Get a little bit thicker one here. I think this one might do. There we go. So that one goes in there. And let me get... I gotta find... I think it might fit in this top loader. That way, when I put it in my box, that one's still a little thin. I gotta get a little bit thicker one. Oh my word, actually. Yeah. I'll probably fit in this for now until I can find a better one over at my other table. I think it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit in here for now. I'll put this in here. And then I'll get ready to file that one away later also. But now it is time. It is time for the Bibster box. It is time for the Bibster box. So for those that are here watching, we've got nine people watching. Um, we've got nine people watching. El 13 thumbs up. There we go. I like that. 13 thumbs up. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, I don't need this today. I forgot about that. Because we're doing the throwback Thursday type look. And it's good because a lot of these cards in the, in the Bipster box are throwbacks for sure. So let's tell you what... Oh, there... <laughs> hold on a second there. Uh, cards in my car with our Posada knows what's coming up here. <laughs> he did it a little bit quick there. I'm still here. Okay. So we're going to open up three packs from the Bipster box. Okay. Um, so Cards in My Car with R. Posada already made his made his guesses. 22. Uh, do me a favor there, Cards in My Car with R. Posada. Put in your numbers 22, 34, and 44 in the chat again because I just did the refresh. Okay. Um Actually, no, don't worry about it. When I when I, when I I stop the guesses, then I'll do my refresh. That way, anybody new won't be eligible. Okay? So when I do my, my next refresh. So if you're in the stream here, guess the boxes or the packs that we're going to pull out. Choose three numbers from 1 to 52. Okay, that'll work too. <laughs> Thanks there, Robert. Um, so like Junk Wax Life Hacks. Uh, Jay Thompson, Miss Southern Bell, go, there you go, uh, Eric Anitis, at Tinnitus, is guessing 7, 11, and 14. If somebody chooses your number, that is fine, because multiple people can get the wins, okay? So I'm going to choose three packs, and we will use the Bipster wheel. We will use the Bipster wheel to choose the packs out of the box. So, um... He's shopping at Lowe's. Um, so let me get the Bibster wheel ready here. So when we're ready to go, we're really ready to go. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. There it is. There's that Google Chrome. So go ahead and make some. Yeah, Christopher, Christopher Beasley, uh, Miss Southern Bell, 31. So, so yeah, just put your guesses in there. And I will wait until... Um, and you can only guess once. You can only guess once, so don't put multiple guesses in there. Each person that's in the live chat right now can submit a guess, okay? Um, so go ahead and guess three numbers from 1 to 52, all right? And then we will do the, uh, the Wheel of Names. 
or the wheel of numbers in this case. Okay. So I'm just going to get everything set up on my phone so that you guys can see this. I'm going to turn my phone sound on just to be safe. And then we will get this ready to go. Actually, let's see. Oh no, that's yeah, it's going to be big, but let me uh let me get this so it can try and fit in the screen here. And probably what I'll do is I'll move. I can move the move the, the wheel a little bit closer to the camera here and still get maybe the Bipster box title up there for now. So I think if we do it like this. Actually, no. Let me move that back. Let me see if I move this up. I can hold it in place while we get ready to spin. So Chuck. Guess three numbers between 1 and 52 and put it in the chat. What happened there, James, James Mix? You keep typing the wrong numbers? That's okay. All right. So um, I'm going to get let it go two more minutes. Kevin's co Kevin's models and more. Hey, Str hey Chuck. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to spin. I'm going to mix up this, the, the wheel. You can see the numbers that are on here, 1 through 52. This is to choose out our three Bipster babies. And if you guess the Bipster baby pack that I'm going to pull out correctly, you will get uh, entries into the April giveaway. So the best you could do is if you get all three numbers correct that we pull out of the box from the randomizer, um, you will get five entries into the drawing for the month of April okay so that's what we're going to do okay so I'm getting all this set up here as soon as my as soon as my computer says 1102 no more guesses will be allowed so type in the three numbers between one three different numbers between 1 and 52 1 and 52 okay and then we will see what we get. And let me uh, make sure the sound's on here. I think the sound's all the way up. So my com my computer says 1102. So all guesses are in. Let me refresh the chat. So everybody that's in now will get a chance to win some free spots. So I'm going to leave the chat right there and I see where cards in my car with our Posada put in his guess he was the first one and let me get this kind of lined up here and I will make a note of the three packs that we're pulling out and then I'll check the guesses that were made to see how many prizes you get so I'm gonna shuffle the wheel up you can see the numbers on the wheel 1 through 52 I'm gonna go 1 didn't shuffle it. One? Why is it not shuffling? There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to spin the wheel three times and we will see what comes in. This is for Alex. Okay, let me do one more refresh and I'll let that entry stand. Alex, throw some numbers back up there. <laughs> Where's Alex? Is Alex here? Jay's Mix. Yeah, come on, Jay's Mix. Put, did you get some numbers up there? Oh, uh, let's see. No, Jay Thompson. Okay. I'm going to get ready to spin the wheel, and once the wheel starts spinning, no more guesses will be allowed. So Kevin's Models and More says, um, this is for Alex. Okay, I'll do one last refresh. Kevin's guess is in there, and let's go with the wheel. Whoa! Turn the sound down just a hair.
All right, 32 was the winner. Sorry about that. You know what? I'm going to leave this down here because when the actual winner comes up, it will be there. Okay? I think that works pretty good right there. So it is 32. You can see it right there. So 32 is the first number. We're going to spin the wheel two more times. Okay, we're going to spin the wheel two more times. So close this. Let me expand here and center it here. Okay, I think I've got this good to go. We are going to spin the wheel. Round two. Looks like pack number 10 is the second one. Okay, pack number 10. So let's close this off. One last spin of the wheel. We've got 11 watching and 13 thumbs up. Appreciate all the thumbs up today. Really do appreciate it. 34. Okay. So we got 32, 10, and 34. So let's see. What did... Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let me go back up to the top of the list here. Cards in my car with our Posada. Let things off with... He's got 34, so cards. Cards got one. For 34. Who do we got next? Uh, 7, 11, and 14. Nope. 12, 33, 43. Nope. 31, 17, and 3. Nope. 7, 18, and 35. Nope. Uh, 5, 12, and 37. 3, 16, and 33. Uh, 8, 24, and 44. Uh, let's see, what do we got next? Chuck, 13, 24, 43. Then I think that's almost it there. And then Alex for 18 and 46. So it looks like the only winner today was 34. The only winner. Yes, cards in my car. You got a free entry into the Wheel of Names for the month of April. Cards in my car with our Posada. Let me get your entry in here. And then I'll give you an update on where we stand for the Wheel of Names for the month of April. All right, paste that in there, and then we'll get ready to pull the packs out of the box. We'll get ready to pull the packs out. Actually meant to pick all three of those numbers, but autocorrect got me. <laughs> That's good there, <laughs> Jay Thompson. All right, so let's see here. We've got our cards in my car with our Posada with the winning pick. And now we have 218 entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of April. So we're going to have at least two prizes by the time we get to the end of the month. And I did get an alert earlier. I guess Ethan is going to have a sale tonight for those that are interested. Okay, for those that are interested. So those are the packs we're going to pull out, 32, 10, and 34. So without further ado, let me uncork the Bipster babies here. I think I can almost get the whole box in the stream. I hope so. I hope so. 
And we're going to take the lid off of the Bipster box here and tip it over so that you can see all the packs here. And let me see. Let me move the lid out of the way for now. Then I can get some more viewing spot here, I think. I think I'm going to have to adjust this over. There we go. We can get the whole Bipster box in here. At least I know this works for future throwback Thursdays, that's for sure, when we're still in that mood. Okay, so we have to pull out pack number 32. So we got 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 is this pack here, 32. And then we've got pack number 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And no jumping the gun on early entries here. Wait until I make the announcement, okay? <laughs> and then uh, 34, okay? So these will be our three packs that we're going to open up this Thursday for Throwback Thursday Bipster Box Edition. <laughs> okay? So Throwback Thursday Bipster Box Edition here. And hold on, I'm waiting for my computer to, my computer's being really finicky today. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to have a talking to it after the stream here. Okay, I think we're up to date now. All right, so I've got these three packs. So we're going to do um, this one first. 32 and then 10. And then uh, 34. Okay, so first I got to go back into the nursery. I know you can't see me here now in this version of Throwback Thursday, but I'm pulling the nursery box out and pulling out, getting three more packs ready to fill in the Bipster box. So it's full for tomorrow's Hall of Fame Friday edition of the Bipster box. Okay, so you're there. So we're going to replace these three that we just took out. And that'll be this one. And this one. And this one. And we're going to close the box here. Put the lid back on. So you can see the Bipster box in the background. Okay. And then we are going to move on to round three here. Or round four, the last part of our stream for today is going to be these packs here. So I'm going to put 34 here and 10 and 32. Okay? So now, uh, laugh out loud, she needs to come home. Like, no. <laughs> Cards in my car with Arposada. Thank you, definitely, Kevin. I got to run for now. I'll probably be going live in a bit. Got two or three more mail day packages to film. Oh, no problem there, Jay Thompson. Thanks for being in here. But one last chance to get into um, the free giveaway for the month of April today. One more chance to get into the free giveaway. I just did my refresh. So all you have to do is type into the chat. If you're still here, we got nine watching, 13 thumbs up. Is put in here how many star cards or how many HOF for Hall of Fame. So type in either HOF or star only in the chat. That would be appreciated. And we'll let this go for two minutes until my computer says 1115. So just type into the chat if you're here. Only one guest, guest per person. Okay. One guest per person. Type in either star or HOF. Star or HOF. And then whoever gets the most when we go through these three packs, that is who will uh, earn additional. Oh, you don't have to choose a number on this one. Just HOF. That's good there, Junk Wax Life Hacks. HOF works. So just HOF or star. HOF uh, 8. <laughs> People got to be different, right? <laughs> Um, and then I will count the cards after these three packs and see if there are more star cards or more Hall of Fame cards. 
and then who, whichever has the most is and will be declared the winner for the Bipster Box bonus babies. All right, there you go. Cards in my car with our Posada says Hall of Famers. Hall of Famers. Okay, still got less than a minute to go. And any last second chance for, before I do my refresh, because my computer does say 1015. Um, stars. Mr. F it's Mr. Fab says stars, and it is 1115 with his chat. So he is the last entrant into this portion of extra giveaway spots. Okay, so we're going to open up all three of these, pack 32, pack 10, and pack 34, and see who we get more of as far as star players or star players are or Hall of Famers. So we got a, I'm going to see if I can set, yeah, I can set these about. Let me, let me scooch this up just a little bit more so we can get more of the top of the cards in here. There we go. I think that works good. So we got Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies. Dom DiMaggio. Dom DiMaggio. Well, that's not... He's not in the Hall of Fame, but his brother is in the Hall of Fame. DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio is in the Hall of Fame. So he's a star player. Norm Cash. Norm Cash. Star player. Um, who's this? Uh, is it Nelson Siriano? Alfonso Siriano. Uh, Hal Newhauser. Hal Newhauser is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Charlie Root. Charlie Root. Charlie Root. Star player. Probably a manager is my guess. Uh, Charlie Robertson, Charlie Robertson, star player, Robertson, Joe Medwick, Joe Medwick is a hall, is a hall of famer, a Fairfield double hall of famer, Monty Irvin, Monty Irvin is the only I in the hall of fame, Monty Irvin, there's two of them, Ryan Howard, turkey red card. Ryan Howard, Turkey Red Card. Okay, Ryan Howard. Star player. Ryan Howard, double. Is this uh, Gary Sheffield? Gary Sheffield. Star player. Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield, there are three of them. CC Sabathia with the Yankees. Uh oh, there we go. Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday. Hall of Famer. And Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. Star player. Well, so far it looks like the the star players are winning the battle. Star players are winning the battle. And then uh we had what? What did we have for guesses so far? It looks like uh, dun, 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 dun. we got two, one, two, three Hall of Fame guests, and Mister, it's Mister Fab with a star player card. So let's get into pack number three. Pack number three, and see who we got coming up next here. We got Heine Gro. Heine Gro. Star player. Dom DiMaggio again. Stan Musial, Hall of Famer. Uh, Sam Crawford. Hall of Famer. Earl Averill. Averill, Hall of Famer. Goose Goslin. Goose Goslin. Goose Goslin. Hall of Famer, uh, uh, Kid Nichols, Kid Nichols, Hall of Famer, Johnny Bench is a Hall of Famer, we just did him last week, 
week before last on our Hall of Fame Friday. Uh, Tony Oliva. Oliva is not a Hall of Famer. Star player with the Twins. Eddie Murray is a Hall of Famer. Then we have George Kell, Hall of Famer. 1983, 1946, Frank Chance. Then we've got a Ed, Eddie Matthews, 1978. Who we got here? Is that uh, Adam Jones with the Orioles? Uh, who's that? Ryan Braun with the Brewers. Ken Griffey Jr. says with Ryan Howard. Two of those Ken Griffey Jr. says. Jim Rice. We had some Jim Rice's the other day like this. Jim Rice. Hall of Famer. Jim Rice. Red Schoendice. Red Schoendice, Hall of Famer. And Tony Kubek. Tony Kubek. So now it looks like we got a good race going on here. We've got our Hall of Famers here. All right. And then we've got our last. You put Howard in the Hall of Fame. Howard. Oh, did I put a did I put a Howard in the Hall of Fame stack? Oh well, yeah. I I do this, Chuck, and I've done this since we did the best. I put these into my Ken Griffey Jr. says box. So that it, he's not the Hall of Famer, but the person that's doing this series is. So these all go in my Ken Griffey Jr. collection. I know it's just a mere technicality, but that's kind of the way I do it. <laughs> and it is the rules of the channel creator. <laughs> but it's not a Griffey card. I know. In my eyes, it's a Griffey card. It goes in my Griffey collection because Griffey is the topic of these. And I'm, I'm putting a, trying to put a set together on the Griffey Says cards. It's a mere technicality, I know. Yes, Howard is not, and all the other players that have been on the cards that Ken Griffey Jr. says. <laughs> there you go, but it's Don's channel. <laughs> John Pesky, don't worry. It, th this is going to be one of one of the closer ones, I think, of uh, Pesky. Star player, Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Harry Hooper, Diamond King. These are Diamond King cards. Hooper. Harry Hooper's a Hall of Famer. Grover Alexander. Hall of Famer. Uh, Heine Grove is not in the Hall of Fame. So he'll go in the star player stack. Lou Bordeaux. Bordeaux? B O U D. Nope. George Foster is a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Nope, not George Foster. The only Fosters that are in the Hall of Famer is William Bill or Bill Foster. Carlton Fisk is a Hall of Famer. Denny McLean. Denny McLean. Star player. Mark Fidrich. Mark Fidrich. 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 Mark Fidrich. Star player. Here we go. But a few more in a row here. Pee Wee Reese, 1984. Catfish Hunter, 1987. Uh, Pee Wee Reese, 84. and Dice, 89. Hoyt Wilhelm, 85. Jorge Posada with the New York Yankees. Then we got a Derek Jeter says of Dustin Pedroia. Another Derek Jeter says of Roy Holiday. So in this instance on Roy Holiday. No, Holiday. Not Holiday, but how? Not Ray Holiday. 
Wait, no, Halliday. Roy Halliday is a Hall of Famer, so this is a double Hall of Famer card. Derek Jeter says, and Roy Halliday. So that one does qualify, but this one is Derek Jeter says, for Chen Ming Wang. Derek Jeter says, of David Murphy. And Derek Jeter says, of Nick Markakis. So these are going to my Derek Jeter Hall of Fame holdout. Just, and... Uh, it could look like, according to the stack, that maybe the Hall of Famers won today. But we do do the count to make sure. So let's count up the star player cards and see how many of these we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 star cards. Okay, so we do have 28 star cards. Where did I put that sticker? Did I throw it in here? Probably did. Uh, oh, no, right down here. So 28 stars. And last but not least, let's see how many Hall of Famers we got out of this one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 35 Hall of Famers. So the HOF stack has one today. Okay. So let me see who guessed Hall of Famers. And they will get free entries into the Wheel of Names. Jay's Mix. Oh, sorry. Lost your Wi-Fi. Sorry about that there, Jay's Mix. But uh, Kevin put in three random numbers for you, just so you do know. Okay, uh, you put Howard in the HOF. Da, 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 da. So let me go up here and see who guessed what. So, uh, Junk Wax Life, ha Life Hacks gets a spot. Chuck Dupree gets a spot. And Cards in My Car with our Posada gets a spot. Okay, so let me do Junk Wax Life Hacks first. Get you into my wheel of names for our August or April. August. It's not summertime yet. Uh, got junk wax life hacks in here now. Let me go back and get the next one. Is Chuck the Pre Sports Cards gets an entry? Chuck the Pre Sports Card. Oh, oh my word. Copy that into the Wheel of Names for an entry. And then Cards in My Car with our Posada gets another entry today. All right. Copy that one and put that one down here. And... Where's, let me go back to the chat real quick. And, da, 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 da. okay, and then, where did, there we go, Jay's Mix. Jay's Mix, I'm going to give you a bonus entry into the month of April's giveaway also. Because I'm a nice guy. Okay, Jay's Mix. So now we do have 222 entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of April. But don't fret, we still have three more weeks to go. Three more weeks to go. Plus a day. After tomorrow, we'll have three more weeks to go. So the month of April giveaway now has 222 entries into the giveaway. Redbeard Breaks is in the house. How you doing, Er? Nice to see you here there, Redbeard Breaks. 
and thanks for popping into the stream. So the Hall of Famers won from our Bipster box cards for today. Okay, let me get these uh, penny sleeves out of the way really quick. And we will do a recap on what we did get today. Okay, so these were uh, the star players we got. Let's see, uh, not, 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 from the Bipster box. And these were the Hall of Famers that we got out of the Bipster box. Uh, let me get that sweet spot card that Hunter sent to me. I think that might fit right in here. That, sign that sweet spot card that Hunter gave me. And my family mail call package. And let's see here, I did get a, uh, in the left behind box. We did get these two signature cards here from uh, Crown Royal. I think this is uh, Royal Rookies. Back in the day, official player's license, but hand autographed futures. All right. So get those right up off to the side. And then we did go through the, the full stack of the... Uh, uh, 1987 tops. We went through uh, for our th throwback Thursday earlier in the stream. So other than that, got two Ichiro relics in the mail today. My first two. That is cool, there, Chuck. That is cool. So other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to turn the camera around real quick here. Let me see if it comes back. <laughs> There we go. I think I just can't got it back on. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. Do my signature goodbye here. And then we'll get ready to wrap up my, my stream for today. Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. I hope so. I think I brought it back on. But it looks like we are in... The Super 8 mode. I think I got it back on the good on this end. Michael Heath. <laughs> All right. So I think I've got us back in Super 8 mode. Oh, no. There's the 8mm mode. I thought I had the wrong selection on here. Somehow I ended up on Documentary or Sepia. <laughs> I was trying to readjust the camera here, and it, it kind of went off. But this is Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles, having been with you for this episode six throwback Thursday. All right. We did the, the 1987 tops four pack, four solo packs and the rack pack and went through and got some of the items there. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off for today. This has been Donald Blomdahl. Hopefully we will see you again tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel, for our uh, Hall of Fame Friday. And tomorrow we're going to be doing, um, I believe it's Craig Biggio. I believe we're doing Craig Biggio, if I am correct. Because I think we did, uh, no, we did Chief Be No, I think it's Yogi Berra. I think it might be Yogi Berra. It's one of the two, but you'll see it when I post up the stream for tomorrow, what we are going to do tomorrow. So other than that, we are going to get ready to sign off for today. And we will see you all tomorrow for our Hall of Fame Friday. Take care, Lord bless you, and have a wonderful and blessed day as... Bibby says in the end of all his dreams, be blessed. Okay, just do Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All right, bye for now. Take care.